last round, we had somebody win uh, with a crane deck on 25 honor. You don't see that every day uh, in, in this previous game. It's playing against a crane player, uh, who full on honor victory uh, deck, way of the Chrysanthemum, etc. So that's interesting. That's a, a novel sort of thing. Yeah, I, I don't think very many people uh, think about the fact that they're playing against it. So yeah, well, I mean, bid five is you know a very very common. So if you have it in your opening hand, you can catch someone for a good amount of honor, but. Getting the next 10 is the tough, really tough part when your opponent sees that, right? They go air ring a lot, or they should, and bid one, etc. Because those decks aren't tuned uh, for uh, breaking provinces. But initially, he was on his stronghold. He just couldn't break it in time. And he bid, <laughs> he bid two, and he should have maybe bid one. But Okay, we see uh, Kashi Scout, a very strong in the current meta. Obviously, in Core, core World, it wasn't, uh, <laughs> wasn't highly regarded, but now, given the province strength, as we were discussing at the beginning of the, the first game, um, very strong. So we see with one fate, yeah, he wants to use it as many times as possible. Uh, Prodigy of the Waves, super strong card. Uh, one of the very commonly uh, included cards for for Phoenix. Uh, can untap and participate in multiple conflicts. Very strong ability in L5R. We see an artisan bot with one fate, which you don't always see. Um, obviously, wants to get some value out of it. It's a one fate character. Uh, can't really attack on its own, but it can buff other characters. So I wonder if he has a steward in hand or something to use it with, or maybe just looking forward. He could have a cloud. Cloud cloud is tough to play out of dragon, I mean out of crane, but you see some cranes adapting with um, Storyteller, which is an okay card, and the Artisan, but they're both Shigenja, so you can play cloud. Uh, given Disciples Avoid, cloud has become even more impactful than it used to be. So we see the bits, five to five, yep, no surprise. I mean, crane is, uh, crane, dragon, scorpion, you can expect those guys to lay on the gas 24-7. Um, you know, whatever, 3-4 honor, they'll still bid high. We see a Mia Mystic, uh, which is an interesting include on the initial side. It means he's really going for a lot of attachment hate. Now, being a Dragon Splash, he probably has three let goes. Um, so he's got Mia Mystics on top of that. So obviously he's worried about having Shigenjas, that's one thing, but just uh, as a lot... Oh, interesting, we see a, a Kami Unleashed played... Uh, oh, he wants to make an attack with it. Okay, I can see that. Yep. So, he, but Kasha Scout would be the traditional first attack, uh, just to see what the province is. Um, of course, going back to the same province doesn't really help you because they can use it with the Kami. So you might want to make an attack with the Kami and then puff it, bump, bump it up with the Artisan. Although he could have done that with the Artisan and then drop the Kami in the attack. So it's interesting he decided to... Because Artisan can still make an attack even though they're zero. Um, interesting he decided to play it now as opposed to a surprise, but... So Kami, new card from Disciple of the Void, which allows you to have the ring effect when you're attacking. It's two cost, one one. Um, so stats wise, not the greatest, but has a, obviously a strong effect. Uh, yep, uh, fire. Um, uh, just because you want, you, I don't think he drew away the crane. So his uh, voices of honor, if he has any in his hand, are not on. So fire is good to get on a character that's going to stick around for more than a round. Blocks of Prodigy of the Wave. It's a political. Uh, now, I, I mean. So he's going to have to get a buff right away on this on this Adept of the Wave, so, or it's going to get crane boxed. And you can start the use box meme right now. I'm sure Ronnie's not going to miss that. So we'll see if he's able to get down a, uh, a buff on this Adept. Uh, court Games or something. Assassinates the Kami. Um, so I would expect to see a box used immediately. Yeah. So Adept gets bowed. So I don't know if the, what the rush was in the Assassinate. Uh, maybe he wanted to avoid a Court Games, which turn on Voice, voice of Honor, etc. So, it's up to whether Ronnie to see whether he wants to play the steward to win this. He just lets it go. Uh, we take him to zero fate, which isn't great. So, and in, so it's interesting that uh, Anish decided to go that instead of the Prodigy the Waves. Um, because he could have used the Prodigy Waves, couldn't be bowed by the Stronghold and then reused. But maybe he wants to use Prodigy in two attacks. Which is a little dangerous against uh, unknown province role. Steward of the Law comes down again out of the conflict. Uh, Ronnie, I guess, sending a message. <laughs> that I have it, <laughs> uh, which is an interesting take instead of using it as a surprise. Um, we don't know who Anish probably granted Covert to someone. Uh, hopefully he granted Covert after his, his Adept of Waves was not bowed and didn't grant it to itself and have it bowed. Um, but obviously, oh, oh, and it's, you know what? It's really interesting Ronnie played that Steward of Law um, out of the conflict because now he's given the Water Ring a target. Although the Water Ring had a target with the Depth of the Waves before, so I guess it's not a big deal. Because he could have unbowed his own Adept of the Waves. So it's a win if he bows the Steward of Law. So maybe he's just doing a, 
like a, a tactics check on his opponent and saying, you know, if you want to bow my steward of law instead of unbow your adept, uh, I'm okay with that. So Seeker of Air fires off and gets a, ga a hit on Manicure Gardens, which is really good uh, for Crane. Obviously, you can go from zero fate to two fate uh, using a Manicure Garden reveal. Uh, steward of law, yep, yeah, for shame. You got to expect that's coming. Yeah, he can't. He can't do that. Uh, Ronnie should catch this. Uh, okay, Steward of Law is in the conflict, and, and they, he, he dishonored. Oh, sorry, missed a Prodigy the Wave getting Embrace the Void, which is obviously strong. Yeah, okay, Ronnie catches it. He says, hey, you can't do that. That's the whole point of my Steward of Law. Oh, no, whoa, what? Uh, sorry. Yeah, they, he can't dishonor. So this policy debate's going to be a little weird. I'd go correct that um, before they... Yeah, so we're just going to correct this, because... Uh, it's policy debates all thrown off. Yeah, yeah, now he's seeing the hand. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> it's all messed up. <laughs> oh, I see. He used the artisan. Okay, that makes. So the steward of law. So the policy debate would still go through. Sorry, it's not as bad as we think. The policy debate is closer, um, so one-to-one -one bid might not have happened. So that's a little unfortunate. I don't know what they're going to do about the policy debate. Um, I mean, both players missed the dishonor, so it's nobody's fault. Um, just wish he hadn't grabbed the hand so fast. Um, <laughs> but you know, then it would have been a lot easier to correct. I mean, they can re-bid the policy debate, I guess. I don't know. They both bid one, but Inish might not have bid one if it was closer. Okay, so uh, I think um, I think um, uh, Travis is ruling that Anish should be able to see the other player's hand. Somewhat unconventional, but you know, there's, I think it's fair. There's no uh, there's no there's no uh, floor rules for you know like Magic that cover these individual cases like this and stuff like that. So you know, especially in casual events, we kind of just make it quote you know quote unquote more fair if we can uh, to correct these types of things. And I think, you know, obviously both players have to be okay with it and stuff, and I'm sure Ronnie is and Nish. Okay, so, but actually, and it's good for the casters. We got to see, I should have been paying more attention. We got to see a lot of the cards in the hand. Yeah, so what we did, yeah, what we did do is as a remedy for that, uh, we said, okay, well, one of the remedy, possible remedy is you will reveal your hand yeah. to Anish as well. Both players were okay with that. Uh, how we uh, yeah. approach it. So we saw I mean, it's not an official remedy, but... I'd rather not do something yeah. uh, more dramatic. Yeah, and we see a, um, uh, a let go in Ronnie's hand. We see a noble sack, which is a big... I mean, I can see why he's getting that fire. And he might even want it to steward into that fire because he doesn't have a way of the crane, but obviously noble sacking that prodigy, it has Embrace the Void, so it's not as super impactful because you get two fate back. But uh, obviously noble sacking that... That Prodigy of the Waves would be pretty big. Oh, Kit's shameful display. Oh, blank. Oh, this is exactly what you want to hit with the Cautious Scout. <laughs> yeah. Shameful display. If you have any kind of bonsai or something like that, it gives you a chance to break it. Wow, so no fate. No, no. Wait, no. The Water Ring was claimed by the steward. I admit defeat. Uh, sorry, I think, I think the Water Ring was claimed. <laughs> Oh, he does have the way of the crane. Uh, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure he wants to sack a one fate. Victor just claiming that because he did win with the Stuart. Otherwise, the prodigy couldn't be used. Um, I don't know if he really. I mean, it's still a value play to sack uh, the cautious scout um, after the conflict, oh, or is it? I don't know because the embrace will take the money back. So we'll see if he uses that noble sacrifice. Cautious scout pretty valuable in this case. I mean, obviously it gave him the break on this. Uh, Along with no, I admit defeat, of course, on the, uh, and he, yeah, it was okay, so, he, well, dishonoring the, yeah, prodigy, I don't know if I would, I, chat, what do you, would chat, would you noble sack here? I don't think so. I dishonored prodigy of the waves is not particularly valuable, um, and you have to give up your cautious scout and a fate. So, yeah, he chooses not to do it, so that makes sense to me. Okay, so we get some fate in the rings. Relatively uh, pretty action filled, but quick first turn. Uh, Nish, I. Oh, he didn't. He didn't. Oh, okay. 
Oh, no, eight. Okay, so he did take his Embrace the Void, I think. Fate? Yep. Because he spent all eight. Yep. So Anish becomes first player. He's still got a Prodigy. It's dishonored, unfortunately, so he's probably going to want to court games that or do something to get that honored as soon as possible because two glory is kind of rough. Hasn't hit any spells played yet, so uh, Asawa hasn't been utilized. Takes some political favor. I guess Crane... Has, oh, we see um, Doji Shichiru. Oh, gets discarded. Um, uh, I guess he's just thinking Shizuru is just not impactful enough. The new character from Device Disciple of Void, which causes cards to be discarded uh, in order to play cards in conflicts that he's in. Uh, so we see Ronnie get the Doji Challenger sort of one turn late, but it's still decent. He can sit it on that province for next turn or buy it this turn. Because uh, Doji Challenger with Fable Ground is quite good. Uh, Brash Samurai is a good buy, always. It's one of the best two, two drop characters in the game. Maybe the best, some would argue. Although, you know, Swordsmiths are good. There's lots of good two jobs. Uh, on the Phoenix side, we got Giantoshi, which is a good buy against Crane. It's like a mini Guest of Honor, at least for one ring. Uh, but Yojimbo's pretty good. Um, uh, with only one fate, uh, it makes some sense. It's a three drop character, but you know, protecting your Shigenjis is pretty solid. Uh, we also have Suki, uh, which is a really strong character uh, for getting that water ring synergy. Obviously, the water, he wants the water ring to be claimed, so I would, look for, I would think he would buy Suki this round as well. Uh, the other two characters, uh, you have the new character, Shiba Tetsu, which every spell you play, you get a uh, plus one, plus one uh, to the end of the conflict, which is strong, obviously, with, the, with uh, Asawa. Oh, he passes. So he, he decides to ensure the passing fate. Um, because Ronnie may buy the challenger, he may not. So yeah, I could see how he was worried about the passing fate, but at least his board quite a bit weaker with one broken province this turn. Prodigy can be in two conflicts, but not the strongest. So we'll see what happens. I think I would expect Ronnie as, as an okay chance of getting another break here, or at least having a pretty strong yeah, turn. Yeah, at least one break. Yeah, and the fate is equalized, so... I mean, Artisan's not the... I mean, his, his attacks are not gonna be that strong either, actually. You know what? I mean, he's got three characters, sure, and Breast Summer is solid, but Artisan is going to, what, I, I guess, pump up Cautious Scout on Political? It's not going to do that. It might pump up the Brash Samurai. We'll see if he's a conflict character. Obviously, a political rival would be really okay. solid here. Shrine Maiden, really strong card for the new Phoenix decks. So hit a cloud, court games. Court games gone, and something we can't see. <laughs> Slide it over, Nish. Slide over that deck a little. Um, but yeah, you know, still a 1-1 one, one conflict character for one fate that draws, you know, draws you a card possibly more. It's quite good. Really good. We don't know what spells, I mean, yeah, whatever. If you have to go over for another ruling, maybe slide over. Because with, the, with, with the, uh, the stronghold, it's good to see. But anyway. Okay, so hands are quite large at this point. Not a lot of cards played. Double five bids. Oh, no, one bid, sorry. A one bid from Anish. Interesting. Putting on the honor pressure. Next turn. Sorry, I missed that. That was pretty impactful. It's really early to, to switch to honor pressure, especially against Crane. Crane's a tough one, right? They tend to honor their own characters a lot, so getting dishonoring them is difficult. And if you're, if you're going to that much of a card disadvantage, it can be tough. Uh, he's got a cloud in hand. I'm sure he's going to save that for possibly a more impactful character, uh, like a Yoshi or Doji Challenger, actually. Cloud for Doji Challengers probably is going to be his target. Yeah, you, you may have already said this, but that was not the other card he wanted to lose to, uh, oh. to his Shrine Maiden. What did he lose? The Wanderer. Oh, he lost the Wanderer, yeah. Um, so we see an Earth Conflict to try to equalize, because he did a one bid, so he's got to equalize that card advantage a little bit. Heads back to Manicure Garden. Which, you know, uh, Crane already has five fates, so... Yeah, defend with Brash Samurai. Makes a lot of sense. You know, you're not winning conflict, but you're going to be preventing the break. Just with, you know, with onboard actions. So what do we see? Uh, I think I see a charge in his hand. I see another Shrine Maiden. I see Clarity of Purpose. Uh, which could be used on the Ujimbo here. Uh, seeing how he can use it twice. With the stronghold. So we got a four to four. Uh, the Artisan Academy, which uh, Ronnie hasn't used yet, gives him another card draw. So I think Crane's fairly up on cards. 
Yeah, Travis, cooking the, 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 the box. Although I do think with a dishonored prodigy, I think I think uh, Phoenix is really going to miss uh, Suki here. Oh, he flips over assassinate. Um, oh, Sh Shrine Maiden's a monk, so it can be assassinated. I mean, it's, it's only adding one strength and it's drawn cards. I don't know if it's the best assassinate target right now, especially with the honor pressure of the one yeah. big. You know, you, you're going to get two honor back from characters you have on board. We'll see. I You'll don't. You'll probably get more. Like. Yeah, I think he can. I think if it comes down to winning or losing, he might play that assassinate, but it's fairly low value right now. Uh, this is the artisan's ability. Wait a second, is this a... Okay, oh, he's going to policy debate. Okay, <laughs> he's thinking about a policy debate, I would imagine, because he pumped up the political ability of the honor samurai to six on a military conflict. To five. Uh, no, he's got two glory. Oh, Artisan's plus two, sorry. No, it's plus three. Is it plus three? Oh, you're right. I believe it's plus three. Yeah, so we see a card played. We're going to see a Kanzuki's method on the Shrine Maiden. Interesting, because it's still six to three. That's, I mean, it comes back to hand. Interesting, unconventional splash from Dragon. Usually you see the three let go, three mirror mode furies. Um, but I guess he's, he's the Kanzuki's method, uh, I guess he's just going for attachments to stick around. I mean, it's a strong attachment. Wow. This is this is a lot of lot of <laughs> attachments in a military conflict. Shows you the strength of uh, policy debate. I mean, his opponent's on six cards, so he can card choke. Oh, actually, I wanted to mention last uh, we were treated in the last game on stream to a, a witch, the rare sight of a witch hunter that wouldn't be bowed by um, uh, Kachiko with a fan. <laughs> it had eight strength political, so another shrine maiden. Okay, well, looks like, looks like three misses. Three three misses. Into All right, put the back to his hand. I, he's now got two discard piles. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think oh, these guys well. are going to agree to be on stream again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. To no surprise to anyone, we see a policy debate of eight to three. So he can he cannot win. So I expect to see a one to one here. And that's a really strong political brash samurai. So, oh, the no. so he did, it looks like three hits, actually. Oh, yeah. Supernatural Maybe. Storm, yeah. So the it interesting... Like three spells at the bottom. Yeah. Interesting thing with the Asawa Stronghold is discarding a spell here is really quite low impact <laughs> because he can just play it again. Well, discarding the Cloud of the Mind is not low impact. It's true. Yeah, he can't get back the Cloud of the Mind. A charge, he's got two of them, so uh, that's not that tempting. But getting rid of a charge because they, Phoenix has a lot of really good charge targets nowadays. Charge, Charge Harvey Birdman, a.k.a. Fushiko, is pretty strong. Oh, that's right. I keep, I keep thinking he's more... He hasn't gained any actual relevant power for this conflict. Uh, I keep thinking that Brass Shadowbringer's strength has gone up. But. Oh, I see that... I see, actually, that... Um, I'm looking at the deck list. They're not there. These are not there. Oh, that's not... Because I was like, there's no Fushiko, no Tadaka? That's no. very strange. Um, no. I, just, I, I, have, I put random deck lists just to get oh, the clans. Oh, cards. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Okay, so policy debate resolved. Still four to four. Phoenix is still winning. But Phoenix has, you know, double supernatural storm, which would be plus actually No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. No, it's it plus one. <laughs> you said double. Oh sorry, plus two in total, yeah. Yeah, that's not worth it. Um, uh, charges aren't all that meaningful. Like you'd have you have to invest quite a lot. Yeah. I mean you'd have to charge I mean, you could charge... Uh, charge Suki wouldn't be terrible because you're going to do a water conflict this turn, so you get an honor out of it. Yeah, but do you want her to be in there with no uh, fate? Uh, I don't know. Possibly. No. It might be worth it. Steward of Law comes down. Uh-oh. Although, the relevant... Well... This is an odd choice when you know your opponent has uh, charge. Uh, yeah. I mean, he might have Voice of Honor, right? Fair, fair. I'm pretty sure he, he, he's drawn five twice, right? So, charge. We'll see if he's got it now, because it's a pretty good charge. Char no? Oh, no, yeah, he's got a voice on top. He's thinking. It's a, I, yeah, I think it's a pretty snap voice, because he paid a fade. It's, it wins. It's going to push, win him the conflict. No? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, he did. Yeah, of course. No, the other thing is you can do it again, right? Yeah. 
he has another charge. That's fine. I mean, now he's paid two fate for that Shiva Suzuki. So now the su uh, supernatural storms are going to add plus one to him as well. So now they're plus two each. But there's an assassinate right on top. So charging a two, charging a two cost character. No, no, it's fine. It's a Shugenja. You can't be. Uh... Oh, yeah. uh, no. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a Shugenja. Oh, it's not. Great, sorry. It's a bushy. So it can be assassinated. Uh, didn't you just say the supernatural? Oh, because he gets plus one, plus one himself. Yeah, he was three, though. Oh, no, free one, sorry. Yeah. So that, you know, if, if the Sui starts getting big, he's just going to get assassinated, I think. Oh, but Ronnie's, oh, he, down, Ronnie's yeah. down to four cards as well. Oh, I, I would think about letting go of that Kazuki method. What, what, is, what is assassinated? Oh, yeah, assassinated off the top. It's like, it's assassinated. Yeah. Um, so let it go of Kazuki method might be strong, but you can do it whenever. You know, it's just it's just costing a lot of fate. Like, I think I, I think well, an issue went. Yeah. Go ahead. I don't know that you want to win. You care about the conflict. Of no, no, just get rid of it. It's gonna go back to his hand, right? Anish, because Anish um, started this round with with five fate. So he's invested a lot of his fate into this conflict. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and he's only got one on bad characters. I mean. Maybe he just wants the assassinate to go off because of honor pressure? It's a little dangerous too because, I mean, Ron, it's, it'd be the third for shame, so you can bet against it, but it could be there. That's yeah, fine. We're just having some discussions there about one die or two die to represent oh. that. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, it's an outweight as well. So he, get, he has outweight option. He's got a lot of options to win this if he wants, but and he's also got fable ground. I mean, yeah, Anisha's invested quite a lot, but Ron, so is Ronnie. He has, just not as much. And this is over. Yeah, there's the assassinate. Makes sense. So now Ronnie yeah, can pull out a character. Probably pull out the steward. Still have a really good chance of winning this conflict. I mean, he knows what's in his hand, so yes. <laughs> oh, there's the karmic, the, the dreaded karmic twist. It came late, so the embrace the void, you know, karmic twist combo is very annoying on your opponent, but I don't see an embrace the void. I mean, the, the samurai has a fan. I mean, he could karmic twist that away, but I don't know if that's worth it. Like Karmic Twist onto the Artisan or something. It's a low impact, but it's something. I just mean that Samurai is going to be pretty rough to deal with next turn. He's going to come in five five political, you can't court games it, you can't like, <laughs> do anything to it. Or not much. Oh, you can Fury it, I guess. Oh, camera. <laughs> camera, little camera shake there. Okay, so we're thinking through the conflict. I think Anish got to let this one go. I mean, he's... He's at zero, right? Oh, no, sorry. Oh, we're thinking about both conflict actions. He won. Uh, we see a cautious scout attack. Uh, void, I would be my guess. Yeah. Uh, military, yep. And he knows what's in Anish's hand, so it's gonna be he can he can use his stronghold to get back one supernatural storm. And this is gonna be a tough one to win. Oh that's the worst. Public forum. Public forum. Three strength. Well no text. Oh. So yeah, that's true. So, I mean, I don't think you can't defend with both because you need the water ring to, to use your, your and your Shrine Maiden doesn't add much anyway. And you can't really win, I don't think, with this Prodigy on military. It's a tough defense. I, so you defend with the Shrine Maiden, okay. But, but it's... <laughs> Ronnie doesn't, want, accept, doesn't accept the gift. Okay, clouds. Uh, then why defend? Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, he's saving the half break, but... I would think 
Yeah, I would think this defense is, is not the strongest because yeah, you could if you're clouding, then at least you could you could half prevent the break. He's trying to decide what he wants to do here. Hopefully he decides to take it off the Ujimbo because it's gonna fizzle off the part of the other way. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Ronnie just let that one go. Uh, I mean, he got a fade and a card out of his opponent, so pretty good effect there. Um, and yeah, in the board-wise, he's still got a Stewart for defense against a you know one-strength prodigy. No, it's not blank. It's clouded. So yeah, Ronnie pointing out he doesn't have to do that. Uh, and the prodigy has to attack political, so or defend political, so he's just going to get boxed. I guess he wants the fate. It's worth, I, guess, I suppose, it's worth it just to claim the fate off the ring because Ronnie's going to go first. You don't want to give him a two fate ring, air, but it's. No, you might as well. You might as well go somewhere else. I mean, have been used already. No, no, but go somewhere oh, else. Oh, scout. Yeah. Because he can, he can use the new Jimba to prevent. Yeah. Oh, that hurts. No, it's not a card. Stronghold's not a card. Stronghold's not a card? Or triggered ability. It's not yeah, triggered ability. Rings doesn't matter. Yeah. But the... I think you, I think oh, you yeah, remember. Correct, yeah. Yep, you're right. Oh, so he claims it. Okay. So Ronnie's down to three honor, but it's going to go up to four at the end of this turn, and then five possibly with the next turn. Still not in the trouble, but it will force Crane down to fairly low draws. So I suspect he'll keep that academy. Often yeah. Crane doesn't, but it's pretty valuable right now at this low card count. Both players are pretty low on cards. Even though Shrine Maiden drew four cards last turn, he's down to three again. A lot of cards, a lot of cards in conflicts here. Uh, Board-wise for next turn, I'd still give it to Ronnie and he's got a six feet lead. So I think Ronnie's in a really good position here. Yeah. Yeah, and he should think just burn dude through too many resources this turn. Um, yeah, I guess he's going to get favors, so water wasn't a big deal. So yeah, fire's not going to do a whole lot, but it's... Yeah, gets, let make sure he gets more honor, right? Yeah, yeah that's true. So he honors... Oh, voice of honor, yeah. He honors the steward for next turn, so it's going to be very hard to turn off voice of honor. Whoa. Oh, so he, do, he opts not to let go the uh, fan. Which I can see, because he saves the let go for Cloud the Mind on, right. on a big character. Yeah, I can see that. Save all your... It's like Lion, right? Let go is only for your own characters. And Kazuki's method, I guess, costs one every time for two political. It's not a big deal. Although Crane tends to make... I mean, Phoenix tends to make towers, but... So we haven't seen um, a ton of usage of the Stronghold. So a lot of impact was, was used last round, but so far Asawa's been a little underwhelming. So Ronnie heads up to 12 fate uh, with a doji challenger going first. I, 35 minutes to go. I, I would think that doji is worth three fate. Oh, yeah. oh, he chucks it. Why would you? He's got the favor. He's going for Yoshi. Crane players love Yoshi. Got to get that Yoshi. That's fine, but... I know. I'd keep the challenger, too. Challenger is one of the best three drops in the game. Oh, and ditches the Artisan Academy. Okay. We know what he wants. That's fine, but... Oh, Imperial Palace. Did not get it. Not, so. Okay, so he is on the Cloud the Mind, I suspect, because Athena Storyteller is in his deck. So I would think Ronnie has Cloud somewhere. Oh, Guest of Honor. Quite strong. I mean, stopping events against Asawa is pretty, pretty solid. So, Guest of Honor, two fate, yep. Hopefully he takes that for fade off the middle of the table. <laughs> we see another Shiba Sets Sui uh, come yeah. out. So he's planning to play some spells. He's a strong character. Again, I, I'd like I'd like to see him buy Suki this round. Um, it's a, you know later the prodigy's going to go away, but she's, she's a good good character. One assassination's already been used to be very dangerous to use another assassinate. So I'd almost go Suki to fate. I think about it anyway. I mean, you can deny your opponent passing fate again, but uh, I don't think yeah. you can afford to go two characters to four again. With the storyteller, the honor pressure doesn't mean anything. Like, he doesn't care about cards. He gets cards. He gets cards, yeah. So I, I, I think about Suki too. Suki one, solid. I mean, keeps some fate, but. Well, 
Go to dials, one to one bid. Yeah. Yeah, Anish, I think, is, you know, he's behind in provinces, behind a board. I think Dishonor is identified as is the way he could possibly win this. So yeah, Ronnie's fate evaporated, but he got two really big characters for a couple rounds. So, I mean, that's a lot of political strength. I think he can, he's got a really good chance of breaking, you know, a, a province around. It's going to be hard to stop that, if not two. If he wants it. We'll see if this is a military attack or political. Probably, I would think it's military, but. Uh, just thinking about, you can go to meditations. It's probably stronger than political. Yeah, he's, he's like, Ronnie's actually thinking about how badly he wants this fate here. I don't think he wants it bad that badly. <laughs> to give him the water? Well, he's going to claim water anyway, but another honor, eh? Oh, go, go meditations, Ronnie. I think meditations. Yeah. I mean, you can, if you have to, just, if the game, you know, goes, starts going longer, you can just avoid public forum completely to try to yeah. race to the stronghold. But. Or keep it around to just farm with your little attacks. So let's see what the defense is here. Um... Military? I think Shiba Tatsui could... Oh, you see a Fury in his hand. Uh, he could... Fury. Well, oh, yeah. He only drew one card, so... He's got to worry about voice. Well, but it's only... Um, yeah. But, I mean, it's probably worth a no-defense Fury here, given you're, you have less characters on the board. We'll yeah. see. Plus, your Fury's going to be turned off. He knows that Ronnie has, like, one chance for, like, the one draw. Because he did the he cancelled the charge and let the other one through. Yeah. So it suggests that if he was willing to cancel the one, he might have canceled the You're other right. if he had it. Yeah. So it's unlikely to have voice. So I would think a no defense fury would be uh, fairly strong here. And then you have three characters to three characters for the rest of the conflicts. I'm not sure if they said the defenses yet. Yeah, no defenders. Well, is he passing? Oh he, he just, Oh wow, he lets it break. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe missed oh, he looked. Okay. They shuffled back in. That's fine. Um, See, so yeah, it, I guess, I mean, Meditations is not the strongest province. You might want to force your opponent into something else, but think of thinking about your Fury, because, you know, if he flips over one more province, then a lot of characters can't be Furied. Right. Or Cream. But a lot of characters still can be, so the one glories. Yeah, I... And you can't play it when Guest of Honor comes in, so... Okay, Kazuki Method comes down again. Is he thinking they had other things he wanted to spend his fate on? Maybe. Maybe that. Now, he has... I mean, that's his strongest military Look, attack. So maybe he was thinking he wanted the Kazuki Method and a Clarity of Purpose here. Yeah. As an issue, I, I might have been thinking about a military first, so that's why I think the Kazuki Method is an interesting play. Um, because your strongest military character is that... is that Shiba Tsui. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think he's appreciating... How uh, much the Guest of Honor might impact the yeah. plan that he has right now? Yeah, I don't think he can win a political if Crane doesn't want him to. I mean, it's a five-strength storyteller, Guest of Honor. What's well, going to be the Guest of Honor? Because like, I think Anish is thinking, he's like, I got a lot of events now. Yeah. I've got, you know, oh, he's putting both in. Interesting. So he's going in for a three, yeah, because that uh, Shiba Tetsui is not going to do anything if the Guest of Honor goes in, right? Which Ronnie realizes and pops it in uh, so it's currently tied so this won't let him win but I'm sure he has some card yeah he's got a court two court games in hand uh, unless Anish had another clown that's true but I don't, I don't think that he does no I mean he will get to unbow the prodigy and honor the Suki I guess Okay, so Ronnie's being quite safe on this. Um, so the storyteller is actually, I take it back about the storyteller, at least in this case, he's proven to be a, quite a good character. He's going to have two card draw, plus himself when it comes around. So eventually you probably get three card draw off this storyteller. So we see a five to f four defense. And no events can be played. So six, six, yeah. Uh, oh no, he switched. He's, sorry, he switched the favor. Switched the favor. No, no, no. So it looks unlikely. Um, I don't. I don't see Phoenix winning this conflict. But we'll see what happens. 
<laughs> almost fertile field that, but he caught himself at the last moment. No, 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 yep. <laughs> yeah, guest of honor. Yep. Yeah. So, okay, so the Nish uh, forgot. Yes, so that's why, the guest of honor. That's why he went, in, went this way. I guess he's just, I think he's just thinking he's not going to do a military this turn. I mean, well, Storyteller will probably, is, is furiable now, most likely, so. Yes. That is something to come out of this. So now he's going to honor the souk. Yep, stand waves. Yeah, everyone knows what Prodigy Waves does by now. So got to try quiet chat this game. <laughs> Maybe uh, so feel free to chime in on whatever you want. Ask any questions. Uh, talk about the kind of plays you would have made, etc. Yeah. We are watching it, so might be a little delayed when we see it, but definitely will answer or uh, make comments or commentary that you get on questions that you guys might have. So the storyteller coming in uh, to glory. Okay, so we'll see. Public forum is most likely what he's going back to, so it still can be furied. Oh yeah. But he may be thinking about that with Dragon Splash. He may be thinking about whether he wants to open up the... And actually, the palace, breaking the palace makes a lot of sense here. It does. So he might go to palace, turning off the Fury, to be fortunate for him. Because the Fury was drawn later, so he doesn't know he has it. So thinking about what ring? He's <laughs> deciding. Does he have the Fury? Does he not have the Fury? Do I want to break that palace? I would think breaking the palace makes a lot of sense. Yep. Although in this case, what province it is. In this case, he would probably, yeah. It's before the throne. Oh, okay. So it's not the easiest break in the world now. Seven. And two honor means a whole lot at this point. Well, he's about to get two back, so... And he doesn't seem to be too worried about honor because uh, he just took the, he didn't take the uh, air ring, so which makes sense. You're still at four, going to six. No break, no break. Five. Yeah. <laughs> and Anish is looking forward to that break. Although I don't know if I want creating on my stronghold quite yet, but yeah. So actually, this, wait a minute. It's fairly fortunate if he keeps that palace because he's got a difficult to break province and yeah. public forum. So he's got he's got time to, to mount some kind of comeback. Because with heavy defense, you know, he could delay it two turns to get to the stronghold, or de sorry, delay it next turn. And if it's now it's thinking, do I use my supernatural storm to break here? Right. He's gonna play the supernatural storm from his discard. I guess so. You can use your... Oh, <laughs> interesting, yeah. That's an interesting play, too. He supernatural storms <laughs> the, uh, the the storyteller to try to push him to break because he wants to take the... He wants he wants to take the uh, two honor from his opponent. I mean, I mean, he can't get, like... Oh. No, actually, if... And he's going to get Ronnie unopposed airs. If, if Ronnie yeah. can't play a character, he loses the game. Yeah. Does he have a... Yes. Actually, this is a really heads-up play by Anish. He noble sacks. Wow. He noble sacks his... You're not going to see that every day. He noble sacks his honored two-fate storyteller to uh, prevent an unopposed attack and prevent the, the province from breaking because he would have lost the game on an unopposed air. And he can't believe he had to do that. He loses a six-fate investment. Wow. You don't see that all the time. All right. That's really interesting. It's the type of thing you see when somebody's going against Feast and Famine. Yeah. You know, they, I once had to uh, mirror Modus Fury my own Ageless Crone because the opponent played a, a fan on it. Too fate to, to not break a province. So Void goes back and he loses the Void Ring that would have got rid of it. Wow. Huh? Tough. And he's going to lose two card draw. That was <laughs> such a such a heads up play by Anish. Well, well played Anish. Well, he's still going to get an unopposed air, but oh, Earth Earth is pretty solid here, too. A little more impactful did, at this he, point. Didn't he do political first? 
Uh, he did political first, yeah. Because there's the ring. It's fire, earth. So Travis is popping over there to double check that. I think it was political. I was mil. No. Oh. S oh. Hang on. It might have been. Yeah. I think. I think it was political. Um, that. That he did a political attack already. So now he has to do military. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but that Suki should still be honored. Yep, they're correcting everything. Yep, it's easy to forget. That was a long conflict. Very, very strange. So, easy to forget which conflict you did first. So, Travis is on top of it, as usual. So, we have unopposed Earth. Uh, Ronnie on five cards. So, this is pretty big versus five. So. Pulls a bonsai. Pretty good pull at this point. And I think the boards are gonna, you know, look a, after that noble sack. Weird noble sack play. The boards are gonna look a lot more, uh, yes, um, even than they would have otherwise. Maybe even, maybe even I would say. I mean, Guest of Honor is an impactful character, but maybe even a little bit in Anisha's favor. He's got an honor to Suki, and he's got a three political strength uh, Shiba Setsu. Names two honor, yep. Heading up to five. Oops. So yeah, the honor pressure is definitely real here because Anish has managed to keep the card. It's about even. Yeah. Despite bidding one to five that one round. Fade up some rings. Uh, first player goes back to Phoenix, who also, uh, based on the Imperial Palace, gained the favor. So now it's time for Yoshi to show up. Yeah. He's, he's, he's already out there. He's in one of those two face down guards. Obviously. Here he comes. Late to the party as usual. Oh no. If he's even running Yoshi, he might not be. I mean, Storyteller might have taken a spot. I don't, I don't think he would have discarded the challenger yeah. if he wasn't fishing for Yoshi. Yeah, and I don't think you would run Hotaru over Yoshi myself. But I mean, she's a great character and all, but Yoshi's a very strong character. Okay, so we see Master G and Toshi bot, two fate. Savvy politician. Um, interesting. I mean, it's a low number of cards. I might think about fading this, the savvy politician. Sure, he can get assassinated, but yeah, I think it's fine in this case. There's not that many cards in hand. He's going to bid one, so... Yeah, Solid Scholar is definitely solid here. Oh, he's got the new character, the Inquisitive Ishka, um, which discounts cards uh, based on the ring that you're currently having conflict with. Um, doesn't have a lot of cards in hand, but that's a, a fairly good character. I know it's controversial in the Phoenix, um, at least in dis Phoenix chat, uh, how good that character is, but I think it's quite good. I, I, like, I like economic characters. I play Crab, so I like the Econ game. Yeah. Ronnie's out of money here. He's got some good characters, but yeah, a little weak on the mil uh, military side. He's got a pretty strong board for two turns. Um, but then again, he has to break public forum twice, so... So, G and Toshi has to name a ring. Hopefully he points to it or something so we'll know. I got the mic on, so... Oh, okay. If he remembers. I have a feeling he might forget here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Travis might have to head up there yeah. again. Yeah, unfortunately, he did forget the trigger. Oh, it's a trigger. It's Yeah, it's optional, so nope. it's, Oh, he didn't. No, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's got okay stats, but obviously this ability is obviously why you buy her, so you don't want to forget it. So he's naming Void Ring. Makes some sense. He wants to clean up that board a little bit, get rid yep. of the Guest of Honor. Well, one of the Guest of Honors for next turn. You'd like to play events in one of your conflicts. Yeah, I mean, those guests of honor mean most of those Anisha's tools don't mean anything. 
Yeah, I mean, it's just a pretty decent political board. So he doesn't necessarily need cards to prevent breaks, but it certainly would be nice. <laughs> Well, and he'd really like to be able to threaten uh, military a little bit more against what Ronnie has shown. Yeah, that's true. Possibly get a military break, maybe. And uh, and obviously, that it's really hurting that Shiba Sui's abilities um, by not being able to play any events, right? No pumps for it. Yeah. And you could double pump it. Uh, so I'd go military with these two because it's, it's quite a bit more military than he can muster. Uh, he's opting for political. I mean, you have a bigger political score, but so does your opponent. Yeah. Uh, goes on to the Manicure Gardens. <laughs> Back to the Manicure I think that Manicure Gardens gotten three fate, maybe four in this game. It's a very valuable province. So he's coming in with three, nine, ten. He's got the political favor. Oh, Suki's a one-glory one, one glory character, sorry. He's got 6-7, so yeah, you're on it. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you can obviously stop this if you want to, but it costs you a lot of your own power. I don't know what uh, Ronnie wants to do. It's void, so he can't play any of his cards. Right. I don't know, you're up on breaks. Do you let this one go and just take a break and try to go break on the other way? Well, the, the, I think the real question here is do you... Do you Throw a chump in so you don't lose anyone. That's true. Yeah, maybe savvy politician. The only problem is it always hurts to defend with something that doesn't even stop the break. Sorry. I keep overlay is not updating properly. There's eight strength there. Uh, three, six, no seven. Political favor. I know seven, three and three. She's oh, she one. Did? She's one two. Oh, she won. I thought she was a. Uh, no, I she, she had two on her. Yeah, me too. At first, but two glory, but she doesn't. I can, I can see the top of the one. I'm pretty sh fairly sure. You might want to double check. Oh, she does have two. Oh, we were both right. Both right the first time. Yeah, yeah so, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you have to throw all your characters? You're not going to throw all your characters at this? No, I, I, I would say this is... I actually think this is a no defend. 300 is not that dangerous. You can go back air if you really care. And you go back air. No defend, go back air. That would be what I would do, but... I mean, or Guest of Honor and just prevent the break, if you want. I think, yeah, he's saying no defend. Yep. Take the break. Yep. Okay, yeah, I think so, Ronnie. I mean, so, do you try to get rid of that palace so you can start getting favor? Oh, no, you can't lose two honor now. Well, you can go air. You can. You can go air. Against the waves, yep. Because she's everything. Suki's <laughs> everything. <laughs> uh, so his defense can be, yeah, he can prevent a break if he wants, but how much does he want to commit? Obviously, a lot of court games in hand, so Savvy Politician's really good here. Um, he can defend with four, five, nine if he wants. Ten with a favor. But I don't, I don't know if he will defend that heavily, but... Yeah. Oh, but it goes back to the public forum. Okay, so he's being really safe with the honor. Giving up favor. So steward of law, but I don't see it for shame. Uh, so he, I mean, you have so much honor. Do you chump block with... Do you chump block? No, I mean, this is just a... Yeah, you don't. You can't, you, it's breaking still. You can't play events. Uh, I mean, it's, it's either big defense or no defense would be my call here, but yeah. I mean, you have a clarity for your, so you could defend with your Giantoshi and clarity it if you, can't you play, want. You can't play it on. Oh, you can't play events. Yeah. I don't know. Just put your hand on the table. <laughs> you can't play events for the rest of this round. <laughs> I mean, it is, yeah, it's halfway to the third break. Okay, really? look, looks like he's going big defense. Looks like he's going to seven, eight, nine, nine to ten defense. Wow. Do you remember when you did this math earlier? Yes, I do. I was getting there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Back down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Five. Oh, I see. Okay, so forward in front of the province. Yeah, this is a, the uh, community hasn't really settled on this yet. 
in, whether you put your defenders at the front of the table or in front of the province. I think. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's I always used to move them. Up. Yeah, I think old five R they used to always put it to the front. So you see that a lot. In front of the province, this kind of makes intuitive sense. So it is. It is the master. Yeah. Six to five. I think it's five. He's, he's two four. Oh no, it's yeah. It's yeah, she's not updating. Um, so losing, they're just gonna prevent the break. Court games, yep. To gain two more strength, taking him to eight. So yeah, now he's breaking, and not a lot Jean and Toshi can do about this. A fan. Yep. Yep. Savvy. Yep. Completely legal. Can honor another character. Which again will help with his honor. Could honor There's that only character. Only one difference in the other. You don't care. Uh, no, it's a break or not a break. I know he's contemplating whether to put it on the uh, out of conflict character. I don't think. It's I think he's threatening the break here. Unless you have another card, but why use another card when you don't have to? You can honor that other one next turn <laughs> with your savvy. So yeah. So outside of a fan, I don't think there's anything he can do. He can. Oh, he can. Yeah. He can assassinate. He can't play events. The oh, yeah, he can't play events. <laughs> Assassinate the... Oh, yeah. he's, he's got a fan. Yeah. That's it. But it is probably for him, so... Unless he can military break with a guest or, or, or a character. He's not on Stronghold next turn. Well, second conflict he might be. So now he can come in military. So yeah, he, he might get a second break here, right? Depending on cards that Ronnie has. Because the military is, is gonna be four to one. So no, because he'd hit Shameful. Yeah, probably not. Realize, remembering that it has to be zero fate for the Karmic Twist. Yeah. Yeah, he can't. <laughs> I don't think he wants the Karmic Twist the other way. I don't think he wants to make the legal Karmic Twist. I mean, one fate is off. Is Yeah, it's not the best. He can Karmic Twist and Karmic Twist is back. Just to send a message. Yeah. Watering. Yeah, stand up Giantoshi, I guess. No, no, no reason. I, I, he's gotten his head that he'll get able to deal with Suki trigger, I think. Uh, yeah. Is there then, another scholar? Yeah, yeah there's a solemn scholar. Solemn scholar. But like that doesn't That's matter. That's not a big deal. Oh, well, hits meditation. It's a good hit right now. So if Ronnie has a bonsai. Well, no, his, his honor situation is not the best. I mean, but a one strength guest of honor is not the best defense for this. I mean, it's most likely going to stop the break, but. So interesting. No no earth claims at all, despite having a solemn scholar. I mean, it's a 1 1 body, it's not bad, but. I mean. I, Ronnie can't do anything other than just lose his conflict, so. I suspect you'll see pass pass, but. So, Anish keeps the favor. We go into the, most likely the final round, I would say. Which means Ronnie's. So it's like, it's, oh. it's all about that, uh, that trigger, but why? Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie's like, are you getting anywhere near 25? Is this something I need to think of, start thinking about? Yeah. Yeah, because obviously Fire Ring, would, did he get a fate from it? I, did, I missed if he got a fate. I think he might have got a fate. Other than a fate, I can't see it. Because fire or earth would have been a lot better. But yeah, he might have got a fate. Yeah, he's, he is getting a lot of honor. Six, oh, actually, no, 10, 14. No, he's not close. Again, for people who missed the previous comment, we did, we did have an honor win before uh, with a crane deck in the previous round against Nish. He's seen, the, he's seen the promised land of honor wins. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Ronnie's board's a little stronger this round. I'm not sure there's going to be another round. Ronnie's nine, so he can buy Hataru if he wants, uh, which would be quite a strong character to have. But a double ring trigger, meh, not so great right now. Isha has to go because it's on a broken province. Okay, let's see what the flip is. Yeah, keeps Hataru. So another guest of honor. <laughs> oh, there's Yoshi. So he is late, very late to the party. Oh, Tadaka. 
Well, Anishkin by Tataka, which I think seems to make sense because then it's goodbye to a lot of Ronnie's events. I mean, he's got to know it's late, so he can buy Suki and Tadaka, or Suki, or Adepta Waves and Tadaka. So they, they, I did just go give them time, so... Okay. Yeah, I guess. Maybe, I mean, if they play fast, they might make it to the Fate Phase. I mean, and, and this is winning on tiebreakers, actually, with the Palace. This round, so... Favor's going to be really important, or getting that other break. Now, Ataru plus Guest of Honor, like, I mean, Ronnie can get another break if he wants to, but he might give up a break to do it. I don't know if there's anything that really Ronnie can play at this point. Like, I think... Oh, he's got to let go. He's got a couple things. He's got outwit. He's outwit and his let go are live. Oh, I mean, he can, he can go Political Earth. He's first player. He can win Political Earth, I bet. Oh, sure. So, yeah, Tadaka's not, is very disgustingly over, very good. <laughs> I'd say bordering on overpowered. Especially on, against Crane, Scorpion, but he's not. Yeah. You can at least do something, and the Earth Ring has a fate, so you yeah, know. For both players, it's like, I get another character on the board. Like, loading yeah. up on fate doesn't make any sense here. Well, Anish ran out of money, but. No, he put two on Saka. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. I I agree with you. I would have. Like we should we should see a challenger and Suki and. Bellator. I mean, one on Tadaka and Hataru at the most. I mean, you risk the Void Ring being used against you, but. You don't really care. Like, I mean, yeah. you're probably not going to the next round. Yeah. I mean, you having a fate to not be I mean, fate the water so. is yeah. useful. That's true. But Challenger with no fate even might have been... You go political, you drag Tadaka into a political... I mean, he has a covert water. But yeah. There's lots of water targets. Coverting the, getting past the guest of honor and then bowing it would be really good if Ronnie doesn't use it in his attack. Here. Yeah. Yes. But I think a Taro guest would be a fairly good attack here. Sorry. A, a Taro with guest uh, on political because he can come up with nine. Actually, that would be ten to nine. Uh, no, ten to ten. So you need a few. You need some cards. Sure, oh, what was Gian Toshi? We Ronnie, need... Ronnie's okay with trading breaks here. I mean, uh, Nietzsche's okay with trading breaks. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Earth, yeah, an Earthring, double Earthring with Hataro. So I think he's, he's probably going to go 10 there. But I don't know what Gian Toshi was named on. Because he was probably named on Earth, right? I don't know. I, I didn't hear. Yeah, it makes sense. Tadaka. I mean, well, it's obvious to name Earth. Earth. Yeah. No Earth. Yeah, no Earth. So nobody can play any events in this conflict. So if he just goes with 10, then he wins. So that's what I would go 10. Nobody can play any events. <laughs> so you win. I don't know if you even defend because you can't win. You can stop the break, I guess, and then try to get favor yourself. Interesting. This is an interesting choice of where to attack. Yeah. Because you, you, know, you won't get favor if you let that palace stay. But if you go palace and he defends, you can't break it. You go public forum, you have a really good chance of breaking it. Oh, he doesn't, he should weigh the crane pre-conflict. Like, right? I don't know if he's deciding on actions, but he's got a way of the crane. Oh, he might have a way of the crane in his discard. Yeah, yeah, he does. Oh, he does, okay, so yeah, he's, he's really locked out of events. He needs that earth ring, big time. Yeah, Tadaka's really powerful. It's coming fairly late in the game here, but it's very tough against some clans. I play Crab Uni, so I've actually taken out events because <laughs> of the Tadaka factor. Going back to Katanas over Bonsai's, etc. Wow, all in. All in. Um, wow, I'd, this could be an overcommit. Oh, I think it's I think both, it's an overcommit both ways. What, is he defending? He's defending with everything. I mean, the break, he's going to prevent the break. Who cares? I know. He's going to lose on tiebreakers. He might have, does he have a conflict character? I didn't see one. But Ronnie does, so yeah. And Ronnie has more fate. Like Ronnie has probably more put conflict characters in his deck. So I would be worried about conflict character. Oh, he's got a charge. Doesn't really matter. Neither, no one can play anything. No one can play anything? Nope. Oh, he can play that. But I still don't oh, yeah, know. Right. We should have known that. Yeah. 4, 8, 11. No, it's 12, it's 12 to 10. 
Yeah, yeah, 12 to 10. Okay, and no one can play anything. Okay, so... No, it's more than that. Right. No, it's 12. 13. 13. Yeah, 13. So, I don't know what... Uh, we'll see what Anish's plan is to win this. With a guest of honor in there, pretty tough. And I mean, in the Kazuki method, didn't do anything. Did you forget about the guest of honor again? I think you might have. Because otherwise, I don't know why you play the Kazuki's method. Because now you can't adapt the waves, you can't do anything, right? I'm sorry, um, against the waves. I mean, I guess you prevent the break? Yeah. Oh, and you, you prevent the break, for sure. That's true. It was 13 coming, so you had to do but it to why? prevent the break. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's half a dozen. You can go for your own break. Yeah. You, well, you could have gone for your own two breaks. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Yeah. I think you're right, Travis. I think, I think maybe, again, it's tough, long game, you know. We try not to second guess players or anything, but I think you got a better chance of getting your own two breaks. Yeah. Um, and then taking the game that way, because the Imperial Palace is still be live. Uh, although we see Crane has uh, dr uh, dr Crane just drew Miramo's Fury, so you know. But you had a chance. I think you had a better chance uh, of taking two breaks here than than uh, using all your characters to to sort of. Oh, but you know what? So he stopped the break, so he is actually winning on tiebreakers. Yeah, but he, the same thing, uh, same thing in reverse. Like if he took them, like so he yeah. had one guaranteed break yeah. coming back, potentially two. So now he has. He, I, I, if I was Ronnie, I would go water and stand up Ataru, and you get the favor. Right. I mean, you might be able to break, but just go water Hataru, stand up, get the favor, and I think that would be game. Oh, he's. Because he hasn't against the waves, but he, he used all his money on this Kazuki method. Oh, he's thinking about fire. I mean, it has a fade, but don't do it. Don't do it. Go water. Get that favor. Imperial Palace, too much. Too many rings. Too much. No, he's going void. But it's only a minute left. <laughs> I mean, they might make it to the fate phase. He might make it to the fate phase, and then you get rid of Giantoshi, which would be big. And uh, again, it's easy to forget about time in this game. You're very into the game. Yeah. He, he, oh, he's got a charge. Does he have a charge? Oh, he won Earth. No, he, uh, chat, he won Earth Ring. So he, he can play his he can play um, his hand. So if he had a charge, he could have played it for the break. But... But yeah, it's interesting. So they do make it to the fate phase, right. just technically speaking. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the void makes more sense now, um, other than trying to snag the favor for that turn. And definitely he has the upper hand at this point. Wait, yeah. did Hataru have three fate? Yes. Wow. Oh, I didn't notice that. Three fate Hataru. Uh, it's hard to tell with the... the uh, you mean Master G and Toshi? Um, he was on Earth. He was on Earth that turn. So stopped. Basically, that conflict was a, was a attachment only conflict for both players. The, the Earth conflict. Chuck's the guest of honor. See, oh, well, Chuck the Yoshi. I guess you could just buy it as a big body, but uh, you don't have the favor. I mean, I, I think I might go guest of honor over over keeping the Yoshi. Oh, he had to. So he had to get rid of the guest of honor. Uh, He's got four, eight fate, so he can't even buy Challenger and Yoshi. Yeah, well, I mean, Yoshi's a great character. He's big, big body. So why doesn't want to... So at least he's declining to concede. Ronnie is not going to concede. Um, yeah, I think the position looks really bad for Nish, so... Yeah, I, don't, I, would, I, think, I, would. I think an honorable concede would be the way to go here, but... Is he... I guess it's not, no, it's not impossible to... Uh, it's not impossible, but you can't... It's really hard oh, to... Oh, no, no, yeah, no, it is. It's really hard to stop Hortaro yeah. here. A, th a three is tough. Yeah. I mean, you have to... S oh, no, he's not. Okay. Oh, Fushiko. Oh, okay. Harvey Birdman. Now, that's unfortunate because he's not, you're not going to get to use his ability. It's okay. The, a giant body like that is still not reasonable. No, but he has no charge. You gotta pay for that giant body. Yeah, sure. The rarely bought, hard bought Fushiko. Yeah, right now you're just looking to have something that you can spend your money on to participate. But I would almost, you know, I can see it, totally see it. He's got seven. But a Solemn Scholar with um, 
and just go earth, uh, military earth, be pretty strong in first turn. Because then your opponent can't play events. Yeah, but he can do that with the bird. Yeah, mil he could military the bird too. But the Solemn Skull lets you bow anything. So you could bow Hataru. Right. Go military earth and bow Hataru. That's what I'm saying. Like, come in with the body. Oh, yeah. Go come in with the bird and the Solemn Skull. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I see it, yeah. How much? Okay. Oh, not the Solemn Skull? Well, we'll see. I don't think we'll get bird, bird this round then. We'll see. Because the naive student's not doing a ton for you here. No. Crane box will box you, and your card for next round is not. No, no bird. Well, you can't dishonor. Draw five. Go for charge. Charge bird. Draw uh, five. Like, give up on the, give up on the honor victory. All right. No, he can't. He can't bid five. He can't bid five. Why not? Because he'll tie the honor. Oh, okay, bid four at least then. Like, don't bid one. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, he's counting. Uh, yeah, you can see the power of Crane self-honoring in their cards. I mean, he was down to three at one point, I think. And Anish has been pushing hard on that. Seven, ten, sixteen. Sixteen to seven. Yeah, he can't bid five. Bid four. But Ronnie's gonna bid two. Like. He did fine. Oh, I didn't Whoa, see. I all didn't, right, fine. I didn't see. Yeah, I guess he we, wasn't gonna we lose. Have been, our predictions have been way off no, this game. I, I didn't. I it doesn't surprise me, Ron. Crane, cranes don't like any other number on that dial, but five. If you have more than, if you have more than six hundred, oh, you I, bid I'm five. Not, I'm not surprised for Ronnie to go. I guess oh. uh, knowing that Ronnie's probably not gonna go one. And I think Anish bid five too. So maybe he got the charge. Maybe we'll see. Charge Harvey Birdman. I can't tell. That's a. Suddenly a big midfield card. Oh, another academy, so. Yeah, a lot of cards around he can't play. So <laughs> he gets that Earthring. So military, oh, by himself? I'd take the solid skull. Oh, he doesn't take the Earthring? Waters? Okay, Waters pretty decent here. Fix the challenger screwing you, but. Just with him. Uh, right. <laughs> Checking all the events he can't play. Which I think is almost everything in his hand except for let go. That wit. Oh, Fury. He can play Fury. He's probably checking Fury and outwit. It's a military. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you could still outwit. Um, but you, yeah. But you'd have to, you'd have to uh, go Hataru then. You have to have greater. I don't think you want Hataru to defend. Just Fury this guy. Right? He might, oh, he might have against the waves. So Fury might not do anything. And if you play one Fury, you can't play two. <laughs> Well, at what is it's a guarantee, right? Or, well, no, he has to get someone big. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's what you do. I think you charge Yoshi. Oh, you can't play events. No. You're screwed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. Sorry. We had, I had all kinds of schemes, and then I realized, well, Tadaka. So, you, you, yeah, you could throw a body in there to try to avoid the break, but with you not being able to play events, I don't know. Is it a lost cause? Maybe not. Your opponent has to come up with... I mean, only two more strength. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys... What does chat think? Is this a defense or not a defense? Yeah, you don't want to... You don't want I mean, the break happen. Yeah, but can you stop it? He only needs two more strength. And uh, you can't play cards. Um, and the challenger's really good as attacker, right? Well, he flips over to West Modern and can't play. <laughs> He needs three strength, right? What's he doing? He, oh, he's supernatural strong. Yeah, see? The it's, not, it's not a break, though. It's seven now. No. Yeah, it's plus two. There's two. Oh, so, you, you can't... No. Oh, he doesn't have a charge. Oh, he doesn't have a charge in his pile. He's the first one. Okay. There you go. He found, he found, the, he found the event he could play. <laughs> oh, good. Charge Yoshi, yeah. And now he can outwit. Because he hasn't played out with. Okay, he found the way. He found the path to play some cards. Takes it up to nine. I think he's bowed the box. Oh. He used, oh no, he used a different Supernatural Storm. Oh, sword. Sword pack in Yoshi. Oh, another Supernatural... Triple Supernatural Storm. <laughs> Pretty decent. Now we're seeing Asawa do some work. That's not on strength yet. 
Wait, it's uh, only 11 to 7. It is. He's winning. He's breaking. Oh, it's Artisan Academy oh, saving Artisan the day. Is. Yeah. He's checking. Well, he's got the Bentons. Oh, yeah, he can bow the Shigenja. Bow the Solemn Scholar to honor. It's plus six. Okay. But he can always just outwit. Outwit will be pretty big. Waste a lot of cards. He doesn't trigger the meditations, but it's not that meaningful. Yeah. Does it now? Oh, he's got a century. Can... No, he doesn't have the favor. So, yeah, Bantons. This is the last round. Time is up. So His last round, time is up. And Tadak, I, I mean, losing that doesn't change anything. He's got an on, he's got a against the waves, but I don't see how he's going to stop a counter break. I mean, Ataru, way of the cranes. Well, he doesn't have, again, he can't play events, so. Nope. Oh, no, he doesn't have, an, yeah, he hasn't used a Fury yet. Yep. Nice. Baited out a lot of cards. Well, you know, sometimes you want to draw Fury really late. <laughs> this is one of the one of the rare times you want your Fury super late. <laughs> against he's got against the wave, so yeah. I think in last turns. Oh, what? He doesn't he doesn't have against the waves? I can see it in his hand. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's just doing the bowing. He's not snap against the waving. Back to breaking. Oh, he's going to bow, well, I guess the Doji Whisper. Yeah. yeah. So given you have two Fate, I think you go back Earth here. So maybe you can use conflict cards in your last conflict. Oh, he's got a political rival in hand. Oh, he's no money to play it. But he could take money off a ring and defend with a political rival? Probably, it's a good idea. Uh, right? And then there's no way that Naive Student's doing anything. So gets a second break. Uh, yeah, which means he wins on tiebreakers unless he can get two breaks and or owe the favor. So break, I think you've got to break the palace, right? Or try to break the palace? Oh, that's, that's a good point. So you break the palace, but he's got favor, so you have to get two rings, deny a ring, and break the palace. So that's not easy. Uh, um, actually, can he, can Ataru, no, Ataru can't steal enough honor to get ahead in honor. Because Ataru can swing it by four, but... Yes, that's not enough. Not enough. Close, though. Yeah. So if he's got a military cards, he might get a double break, but I don't know. Yeah, I think Ataru is, is the right way to go. No, he's, he's clouding. No, he's embracing. Embracing? Okay, I, sure. Oh, Karmic Twist. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not it's he not, can't it's Karmic unique. Twist. Yeah, it's yeah. unique. But I mean, it doesn't, wouldn't matter anyway. It's the last round. Earth. Yeah, Earth. Yeah, I think Political Earth. I agree with you in chat, Lenith. I think Ataru Earth is the way to go because you've got a really high chance of winning. Um, and uh, and then you can well I mean I know he's looking at the way of the cranes in his hand and thinking oh I'd really love to honor my Hitaru first but I don't think you need to here because I think I saw a fan too maybe not oh hey Box uh, I know Box is a, is a big Phoenix player um, so I'm sure he's cheering for Nish. This one's coming down to the wire based on tiebreakers. And, uh, and that palace doing huge work. Uh, I don't know if you guys caught the earlier play with the noble sack on the, on the uh, Asahina Storyteller with two fate to prevent him losing the game by dishonor. It was, uh, you had to do your own. Oh, sorry, Box, are you not a Phoenix player? Did I get it wrong? All right, he's going to try it. Did, uh, does Anish have a clarity? Will he remember that he has clarity? Yeah, I don't think I saw a display of power in Anish's deck. Maybe. Oh, sorry, Box. Yeah, that also works. 
There's that Kazuki method. There, it's finally let go. See, I told him to let go two times ago. Uh, I think he's going. Um, I think he. I think he's wants to get a break. I think he's confident he can get a break here with a Hataru and a fan, and he wants to get the favor. The tie because um, even with the second break, he's going to lose on tiebreakers. Leneth. No, no. So the dice dollar is not uh, bowing anymore. So he has that to. He just leave it to keep the favor. Uh, Naive scholar is going to. It's defending. Clarity, clarity purpose. Oh, he's clarity. Pur oh, no, Ben, bow him with the box. He can't. Clarity purpose. Oh, he can't. Clarity. Oh, he clarity purpose. Nice play. Nice play. Yeah, so I think Anish some really clever plays at, at, at crucial points. I think he's going to win this on tiebreakers. Breaking the palace doesn't matter. It would have if you could have got the other ring with the uh, Stewart. It'd be two rings to one. But now that the naive scholar is standing, yeah. I mean, if he could have got the earth, well, what could he have set up some noble sack play with a fire ring? Like if he's got a court games. They can't, but he, yeah. he's, he's already caught up.